I'm Dr. Alan Shackelford. What you will see in this brief presentation is remarkable. It's unlike anything that I, in my 30 years of medical practice, have experienced, and it's based on medical marijuana. You may have preconceived notions about what that means, but please watch the next few minutes with an open mind. I think you'll be astonished at what you learn. So Charlotte has Dravet syndrome. It's a uh, severe pediatric epilepsy. The seizures when they start with Dravet are status. They don't stop on their own, so they're 20 minutes or 30 minutes or longer. I think her first one was about a half hour. Um, every seizure after that for two and a half years was a status seizure, and some were four hours long, two hours long, and you know at that point she's intubated in the ER in the, in the pediatric ICU, and medicine doesn't stop them. So that's um, we went through that for about two and a half years. We got diagnosed at two and a half years old. A few times her heart has stopped during these uh, using these drugs, and um, I've done CPR on her, and a couple of those times, you know, I just sort of let go of the fact that just to keep trying with her and I said my goodbyes to her and um, as I'm doing CPR on her or in the hospital um, kind of prepared myself for the worst and she's still here but she's been through a lot to get to this point. The doctor you know she heard her her history of seizures at that time and said we have to pull this her last med that she was on. Her exact words we have reached the end of the line with medical options for Charlotte and I don't know what to tell you, there's really nothing else we can do. And that's when we met the Stanleys, and that's when we got started on the CBD. After six months of, I really didn't think she would survive the seizures, 300 seizures a week, roughly, um, of, you know, grand mal, tonic clonic seizures a week. Just to put in light what 300 a week is, it's, it's about four an hour. It's a one seizure every 15 minutes, so, um, you know, sometimes it was every five minutes. It just never stopped. And so to see her seizure-free, for a whole, for seven days. She went seven days instantly. And we've been on it nine months, and from that 300 seizures a week, she now has zero to one tonic clonic a week. And um, so it's a greater than 99% seizure reduction. And it's amazing. It's just absolutely amazing. To think that she wasn't gonna survive, and look at her now, she has a life. She, during that time, she lost the ability to walk, talk, eat, and really just, you know, participate in life at all. She couldn't do anything. She just sort of lied in my arms, catatonic. And I thought that was it. There just wasn't a life for a person. But here we are. I was looking around for, you know, whatever I could find at any dispensary. I met the Stanleys and they started growing a strain with the, the highest CBD we've found in the world. And they named it after Charlotte for our success. They named it Charlotte's Web, and that's what we've been using since for the last eight months. This particular plant has 0.5% THC and 17% CBD, or cannabidiol, the non-psychoactive ingredient. This plant is so important, the CBD is, is literally stopping the progression of epilepsy. This plant right here is called Charlotte's Web after our, our favorite little precious Dravet syndrome patient named Charlotte. And this is the reason we've spent two years developing this plant and the world doesn't know about this yet. We are able to treat Charlotte through doctor approved uh, um, channels with no psychoactive effect for Charlotte or any of the patients that are able to take this CBD plant. This, we, that's why we call this the future of medical marijuana. Uh, a lot of people think uh, what, when we tell them what we're giving our daughter, their first reaction is, well, is she getting high? And no, that's not part of it at all. Uh, that's a common misconception. There's no psychoactive side effect. It's not psychotropic. So, but the CBD does seem to have other side effects that are, have been amazing, actually. Behaviorally, it's helped her. It's helped her appetite, and I can't think of any possible negative side effect that it has had. Uh, she's just experienced uh, a better quality of life all the way around because of it. That's right. Woohoo! Yeah! To be able to control seizures the way that this evidently is able to do in a condition which results in absolute 
uncontrolled seizure activity is unprecedented. Because of this medicine and these high CBD plants, we have our daughter back. We have a life back. She has her life back. Good job. Zakai has a rare catastrophic epilepsy diagnosis called Doza syndrome. What that entails is lots of seizures every single day, delayed development, autistic tendencies, um, those that sort of thing. In the end, we had tried um, every medication that's indicated, 17 treatments in all, plus the ketogenic diet, which is a special diet for, for epilepsy. So we'd really tried everything that we could. Really none of them helped or they would make his seizures worse. Um, and then the side effects from the medications, of course, are ridiculous. I pulled out some scrapbooks so you could see what Sakai looked on, on steroids. He doubled his weight. He was having, the EEG showed, EEG is just an electrical scan of the brain waves and it shows the seizure activity. And he was having 200 clinical seizures an hour. And so there are, you know, eight people in his room watching him seize over and over. We were there about a week. They just confirmed the diagnosis and said there was nothing else they could do. And we were there to get the confirmation of what we were really dealing with, but to get help for them to help us. And, you know, they said you've really tried everything in their bag of tricks that they had. Really, not to be melodramatic, but you're in really the fight for your child's <laughs> life. We finally made the decision, yes, we need to do this. We need to go ahead and get his red card and start this whole process. We were at the end of, you know, our pharmaceutical rope, so to speak. And just the, the safety profile was just unheard of. I mean, I knew that I wasn't going to kill him, giving him too much, which I couldn't say for any other medication that we've tried. A very common and obvious question is how do you administer cannabis to somebody like Zakai who's nine years old? The first thing that pops into a person's mind is what do you do? You pop a joint in their mouth like the other end? Absolutely not. It's either administered by capsules, which they swallow, or oil syringes. You know, also I think people need to understand that we're, everything is tested. And so we know exactly the, the milligram dosage of CBD that we're giving cannabidiol. So people think that we're stopping these seizures by maybe getting the kid high, um, which isn't the case. It's actually quite a conundrum because what's happening is, is virtually all of the anti-epileptic drugs on the market are psychoactive. This cannabidiol extract is non-psychoactive. So we're replacing psychoactive medications with a non-psychoactive medication which happens to come from the campus. So that's kind of hard for people to accept at first. Stop, we may stop to dream Believe in things we've never seen Scattering dreams Spinning in circles And it's brilliant because we've been able to come off his psychoactive drug completely. At Zakai's worst, he had 200 seizures an hour. And it has been 106 days now since his last seizure. I get to say, after almost a decade, I get to meet him for the first time without all this seizure activity and drugs. If you can imagine waiting 10 years to meet you. It's real. It's absolutely unreal. I don't even have You know, I don't know how you think someone who has, you know, literally saved saved your son's life. I don't know how you think someone. Really, after the euphoria wears off, that we found ourselves in such good fortune that we found, you know, the Stanleys, that we found people who care and who grow this plant. You get angry that we couldn't have tried this 500,000 seizures ago, that no one even mentioned it as an option. We love our doctor. I love him. I feel like he's in the fight 
with us. He signed for us. Most doctors won't. But he's never, even in all of these years, showed us the compassion that the love of caring has. Thank God we live in Colorado. But if we didn't, I would do whatever I needed to do to be able to provide this for my child. Stop.